My Lords, when I was writing my notes for today's debate, I put down two words initially, choice and, or oh, sorry, a phrase, a modest bill. The noble lady Baroness Meacher, when she opened the debate, did indeed give me the words I was expecting. A truly modest bill, she said, was being introduced. But my Lords, while the bill in front of us appears to be very limited and very tightly defined de and delineated, as we've just heard from the noble and learned Lord, Lord Carlyle, there are some very grave concerns about the bill and about the way in which it is framed. Everybody in your Lordship's house is concerned about dignity in dying. It is quite wrong to suggest that only those who support assisted suicide might be concerned about dignity. We all are. But it is the duty of your Lordship's house, as the Right Reverend Primate, the Archbishop of Canterbury, made clear at an early stage in the debate, to legislate for the most vulnerable, for everybody, we need to put in place only legislation that is going to ensure safety and that is not going to lead to some people being made more vulnerable and subject potentially to abuse. Supporters of the bill say, but this is about choice. It is about those with mental competence within six months of death. But my Lords, if we look at other jurisdictions, legislation has repeatedly been changed. The noble Lady Baroness Meacher exhorted us not to look at Canada, not to look at the Netherlands. Those cases don't matter, she told us. Why don't they matter? They are the only examples we have in front of us, and we have seen changes. In the Netherlands, there is euthanasia for children. My Lords, I know this bill is not about euthanasia, it is about assisted suicide. But how can we be assured that taking the decision on this legislation would not then lead to incremental views about extending the legislation again and again? There's been a suggestion from the noble lady Baroness Heyman and the noble lady Baroness Jo of Paddington that the possibility of assisted suicide is going to make people more secure. They're maybe not going to feel the need to go ahead with it if they know they can do that. But if we look at the, the outcomes in Oregon, suicide has gone up alongside assisted suicide being permitted. So my Lords, assisted suicide is no guarantee that other suicide levels will be reduced. This is a dangerous bill which we should not be passing. I won't be calling a vote on it, but I very much hope this bill does not pass into legislation. Yeah.